what is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how did I create my perfect music video shot in Adobe After Effects with the use of Fan. So what you see right now on the screen is what I'm going to be working with today. And before we get into the matte paint and the set extension part, let me talk to you guys about how did I do the cleanup in Photoshop. So what I did was I played the video in VLC Media Player. I took the snapshot or basically I saved uh, the frame that I liked. Okay, I bought that still image into Photoshop and I cleaned up anything that I didn't like. So I removed the graffiti, I removed the cracks and some scratches from the walls and I used my clone tool, patch tool and a content aware tool for doing all of this. Now once that is done, you basically select the part that you have worked on and you save it onto a new document. Okay, the idea is to save the new document as a PSD file that you're going to use in After Effects for patching onto our tracks. But the thing is, you have to understand that you don't want to bring in the full PSD. Okay, just crop out the part that you have worked on. This is going to make your life a lot easier in After Effects. And also people, make sure that you're saving the PSD without the background layer. So we are having a proper alpha channel. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to jump back to After Effects and I'm going to start tracking the right side of the wall with Fayne. So I'm going to use a region tracker and the good thing of Fayne is that everything is happening in the background. So I can still work with After Effects, bring in my layers, name them properly. That's, that's very important. Whenever you're doing high-end compositing, name everything right. Okay, and this is done. This is actually easy. I'm just going to replace this. Um, with my PSD file and what I'm doing right now is I've reduced the opacity for matching things right. I'm using the corner uh, correction tool in Fayen for doing that right and uh, this is important okay this is gonna be very important and one more way of doing this is to use a tint effect. So if you go to FX and presets and apply a tint effect add a little bit of shade and uh, you know see what things work uh, you know this is supposed to be here there do all of that use your corner attachment tool and uh, you can also combine this with the opacity trick so that's I think you know work a little bit better and once this is done awesome people you can just basically remove uh, the tint effect right and this indeed has been tracked in quite nicely next awesome people I'm gonna start working on my right side pillow and the reason I'm doing this is to get me a proper depth. The same process also awesome people. Go to Photoshop, bring you know your cut up. I've, I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again. And the one thing you may observe is that Fayen at times is not going to give you a proper orientation. So you can just fix that quite easily and move it around, see what works best. And this also awesome people is a nice uh, track to work with. So again, replace your file, move it around, uh, work with your corner correction, get that right. And you can you know move ahead now awesome people I want to bring your attention to the thing that I'm about to do or actually I'm about to do after this so I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna track the left wall but uh, the, the thing that I'm gonna do after that is quite important so again I'm gonna track the left wall orientated properly so, uh, attach a PSD to it and that's done now the thing I'm doing over here awesome people is very important you'll see that the left pillar is not all that damaged I didn't do you know I didn't do any sort of cleanup work on top of it so why am I trying to track this right I'm, I'm putting time into it I'm putting my computer's resources into it the reason is awesome people that I am trying to avoid rotoscopy work later on in the video you'll see that I'm attaching graffiti to the wall I'm attaching textures to the wall and in order to get that proper 3d depth I need to do either rotoscopy or I need to do this tracking part uh, tracking is a very, I think, different way of kind of skipping over rotoscopy. Instead of doing hardcore rotoscopy, you could, you know, track something on top of it and it's going to give you that proper 3D depth. Uh, you, you, you'll get to see what I'm talking about uh, later in this video. Now what I'm doing is I'm trying to add a little bit of hue and saturation to sort of color correct things right. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to move things around, see what works best. And that is it awesome people I'm just gonna preview see what I have done till now and awesome people you'll see something okay yeah w one more cool thing is that if you ever if you ever made a PSD and you want to delete something from it instead of creating a mask on a pre-composition that you are applying fan on you can actually go inside that pre-composition and mask stuff over there and right now awesome people what you're gonna see is that I'm trying I'm really struggling on the shot and the reason I kept this part in the tutorial is to show you guys that See, pros also struggle with shots, okay? I really wanted to take a very difficult shot for tracking and completing uh, with Fane. And you'll see that, yes, I'm difficult, like I'm, this shot is quite difficult and I'm definitely struggling with this part. And at the end, awesome people, 
uh, you know you can see that I'm working on frame by frame basis I'm adjusting the Z depth and it's still not working nothing seems to be working I'm working with the corner offset and in the end I just rage delete everything so I'm gonna start once again I took a little break off and I started everything once again and you know with a cool mind and everything and I got the short run right so what I'm trying to say is see don't always think about hurrying up and saving time and saving time and saving time it's a lot better to work on something that's going to give you a proper result okay that I think takes precedence over saving time perfect output and you'll see that you know with a clean clear head I could get a perfect shot a perfect track and I could attach my PSD to it so I wanted to keep this part I wanted to keep my mistakes a little in this video and I'll just show you you know all the cool stuff so you keep that in mind if you're not getting something right it's okay you will get it right eventually I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more a uh, little bit this also be will took me four hours I think to complete the full video and I would say it's pretty good you know pretty good four hours to complete a shot a VFX based shot very very fast in my opinion and uh, you know I'm gonna place everything right you know use a corner offset corner offset is an amazing uh, feature of Fein use it awesome people now awesome people you'll see me do some human saturation I'm gonna fix my mask and just to you know blend things a little bit better now awesome people I'm gonna jump into attaching the graffiti to the back you know that, that small portion of wall at the end and uh, again uh, this is you, you'll see something awesome people that in this shot in in this much tracking part the Z depth was completely off and the way to fix this is to use the virtual grid where awesome people you get to define a grid and you get to uh, change the Z depth so I'm gonna do this actually two times for me to show you what I'm talking about you'll see that I'm working with a different uh, in the adjustment panel in the plane panel uh, in adjustments you'll see I'm working with the second option and in that awesome people I'm working with that last small bit right those are the tools I'm working with so I'm gonna create my track once again I'm gonna track it and you'll see that okay this is not gonna be fixed by just tracking again and again the Z depth is definitely off the best way to get this done is to go inside of Fein, go to again the adjustment panel I'm gonna close everything off adjustment panel take that last option and just go to like two three frames I'm jumping actually 10 20 frames you don't have to do it on every single frame just go to just jump 10 20 frames and fix this on two or three frames that's all that I did I just fixed two three frames and I was able to get a perfect Z depth after that and I'm gonna bring in my perfect I'm gonna replace this with my perfect graffiti and you can see that indeed this has been fixed quite nicely now you'll see that there's one problem in the shot and that is okay actually I'm gonna take the time out to uh, to name everything right this is very important name your layers right don't just keep it fade in placeholder or something okay name everything right and you'll see that the name is also updating in your fade in panel now there's one mistake in the shot and that is that the hand part is you know coming over now there is unfortunately un unfortunately no easy way to get over this you have to do rotoscopy on that arm which I have done now awesome people what I did was I went to track something on the roof very easy to do I got the track done in one shot and what I'm doing over here awesome people is I'm trying to attach some graffitis to the track what you have to do is you're supposed to click on track 1 track 2 track 3 and replace it like that so you can have multiple track points in one video you want to create a mess in your timeline that's a cool thing of Fein um, and everything will be good Uh, next awesome people I'm trying to attach uh, some textures you know go just full crazy I'm trying to uh, color up the graffitis a little bit now awesome people what I'm doing is I'm trying to track a little bit of the inner portion of uh, the room you know to add a little more production quality and you'll see that over here also I'm doing the same thing I'm trying to track and the Z depth is just completely off so in order to fix this we have to go to the virtual grid and I'm fixing that Z depth on one or two frames. That's it. You know, Fein is an amazing plugin. It can do all of that. It can understand the camera path based on just one, two keyframes editing. So that's really cool. Uh, next, awesome people, I'm trying to attach uh, some more textures. And again, I'm trying to fix that proper. You have to get things right, awesome people. Tracking looks very weird if there's any sort of jitteriness. So again, I'm working in, in, in adjustments, in the plane, in adjustments. I'm working with that second option. And in that, I'm using the Z depth changer. I don't know the official word for it <laughs> and I have tracked in this small graffiti over here as well just you know I'm, I'm trying to go crazy I'm just trying to create like a very detailed shot 
you know sometimes a lot of times actually you won't be needing to create something this detailed but you can do that with Faye and, and you know the option is there all right so this is good I'm gonna change uh, the size and everything I'm gonna add in a little bit of color correction and you'll see that I'm using again the corner the corner correction tool of Faye and it's really cool it's, it's gonna help you a lot and you'll see that there's again a problem over here and this awesome people unfortunately we'll have to roto out I'm just gonna roto this quickly it's actually a very easy shot to roto and I'm gonna do some more roto tutorials a little bit sooner on my channel and you'll see yeah, yes indeed we are getting that proper z depth now see that I'm just gonna fix that roto real quick and that awesome people is how I was able to create some good uh, music video shots and you can you know you know once your tracking is done awesome people just based on that track uh, that track alone you can actually create more and more graffiti so I can actually add more graffiti as you can see right now I just uh, I'm working with a track 10 if you were to look at my fan panel I'm working with track 10 and I was able to add one more graffiti I had to adjust my row to a little bit and after that I was done now this awesome people is not related to Fain but I still wanted to complete I still wanted to include this a little bit um, in the video of color correction a lot of people think that color correction is like one layer one looks and everything would be done it's not like that you have to work with multiple layers um, and what I have done is I've actually named my layers properly so if you're wondering which looks preset I was using you can actually look at the layer name and it's gonna be there so one is interview second is glamour gold and I think three is blockbuster and I'm gonna take a little bit time to roto out things because awesome people you know it's it's okay to take your time okay time consumption is fine as long as you're getting a superb thing so I'm gonna still roto out the character and this is just gonna help me uh, you know get a little bit of more depth in and good coloring in his skin tone and this awesome people yes indeed this does look good right now awesome people I'm gonna create another adjustment layer I'm gonna use halogen for this I remember the name it was awesome and I'm gonna use some optical flares animate the flares and you know that is it awesome people so that is how I was able to create uh, my perfect music video shot using Fane inside of Adobe After Effects I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel Zenjan Learning like this video on YouTube and I hope you enjoyed you learned something today and 